Hey there, welcome back to the physics colony and now here uh, let's continue with the special theory of relativity the next topic that is nothing but simultaneity in events. Now what does it say? I wrote it already because I don't want to waste it my time. So what does simultaneity in events say? Straightly come into business. Two objects not relative to each other witness the same event differently. Now simultaneity in events simply says that if there are two objects which are not relative to each other which is the most important line the two objects which are not relative to each other witness that same event occurring that can be any event differently this is simply the counter view of we can say the first postulate which says that laws of physics are equal for all the observers related to each other that are in the same inertial frame of reference now let's take an example to for a better understanding of simultaneity in events all right guys so let's get started now suppose here i have a platform all right it's a platform and a person is standing here and let this person be john john has the ball in his hand and this platform is moving with the velocity let it be 20 meters per second so we can say that it's in motion it is moving with the velocity of 20 meter per second but according to the relative motion john is in rest Actually it is in motion but John is in his own frame of reference, he's in rest and suppose there is another person, Tom. His name is Tom. He is at rest, he has no velocity. Alright, now the cart is moving forward and it reaches at some point here. John is still in the cart. And here he throws the ball up with some velocity and at this point that is at the displacement X the ball come back to his hand the ball comes back to his hand as he throws the ball so now what is simultaneity in events that is what John sees versus what Tom sees to the ball what is event event is the ball thrown up so at first uh, John sees that the ball is going up but since John is at rest according to his own inertial frame of reference what is the trajectory of ball according to John so we can say according to John the ball now okay all right you you know this now I'm going down according to John now see According to John, it is the ball and the ball going up and again coming down. Do you understand? The ball, uh, according to John, the ball is going up in simple one dimensional motion and going down in a simple straight line and coming back to the hand. This is the trajectory of the ball seen by John coming up and coming down in simply one dimensional space. But the main problem is what Tom sees. This is the event for John and now Tom is actually at rest. Tom knows that this cart is the velocity of 20 meters per second. So I'm drawing right here what Tom sees. So what Tom sees, if the Tom would see the same that the ball is simply going up and down in one dimension, then the ball simply here would go up and fall here itself down. But we know the reality, John got the ball here at some distance x. So, according to Tom, Tom will see the ball going like this. Now, suppose it is A and suppose this point is B and this is the distance x. x is this distance, this is the distance x. This is the initial position of that cart, this one. And this is the final position of the cart. Then, 
then john would see oh i'm sorry tom tom all right this person tom would see the ball going like this in a projectile way x at the displacement x ball would come here again in the hands of john this guy so what did we just now learn the simultaneity in events that is when two objects are not relative to each other witness the same events differently since here john and tom are not relative to each other the event being the ball throwing up john sees the ball simply going up and down in a one dimensional motion but tom sees the same thing in two dimensional motion that is the projectile motion so john seeing some different thing and tom seeing some different thing this is just this is the simultaneity in events the next part of the theory of relativity so so simple so guys this much is okay for now let's end up here i just wanted to tell you about the simultaneity in events which is actually quite a small topic and as usual thanks for watching thanks for watching my video and if you like do like and subscribe my channel for more because i want your support right now thank you guys see you soon happy science